All right, we are on um, about Forest Colony. Yeah, we are on Forest Colony in the Ebon Jaguar C variant. So this build here is uh, loosely based off the Orion 2C Champion build. It's a brawl build, that's what it is, and it's a really, really good one. Now the only problem that I'm really having is the uh, the ammo. Um, I really don't. I mean, I've got all the ammo quirks that I could get, but it's just, it's not a big problem because I can definitely go a match with this, but if I'm not careful, um, I kind of waste my ammo. You know, if you miss your shots, you know, I, I feel like every shot counts when you're, when you're low on ammo, but still it's a decent amount. If I could just get one more ton, or at least one, a half a ton of each LBX and SRM6 ammo, I'd be fine. But well, we'll talk about that after this match here. Um, Evan Jaguar, one of my favorite, well, my favorite clan heavy mech. This is it, the Evan Jag. Each variant is unique and has something uh, to offer. And if you want to just mix and match, you can because it's an Omni mech. But this build right here, uh, the Orion 2C Champion variant has a LBX20 SRM6. Uh, times four and I wanted to try it on uh, a different heavy mech whether it was inner sphere or clan but I didn't want it to be another Orion um, so I came across the Evan Jaguar Charlie variant now this variant is uh, just ballistic and missiles no energy and although I don't have an LBX-20, I do have two LB-10s because I uh, was not able to fit an LB-20 on this. This mech has great hard points. Um, it can be a bit uh, fragile in some ways. It does have an odd design, which we will talk about after this match. So basically, although even though LB-10s have a great range on them, really our optimal range that we want to be at is between 0 and like 300 to 400 meters um, especially 300 meters with my SRMs. Now as the matches go on you'll probably see certain things increase like uh, my skills, my range, my velocity, um, even my speed I think maybe. We'll, we'll see. As I'm going I'm adding skills. Here's this Warhammer Black Widow right here. Um, this is uh, actually a mech that I need to uh, destroy. We are just pounding into this Black Widow. There we go. We took him out. We took him out. And that Hell Spawn 8P right there. I'm trying to get him. We're going to grab him here. He's hitting me hard. There we go. This is what it's all about. This, this just brawling, just going in and taking out. We're going to go for this cataphract, actually. Um, now, the big thing is I've been... Uh, I do go in hard, right? But as you can see, my ammo is going too low. So I am I'm most likely going to run out here very soon. And that leaves me, you know, defenseless. We're actually going to try to kill this summoner here with what I have left. I'm just going to go all out on this summoner. And then uh, I'll be screwed. But we're being we're getting surrounded anyway, so might as well go for this bad boy. Ah, you son of! I only got one more shot left. One more. One more. Oh, we got him! Oh, we got the summoner. Holy shit! Holy shit! I'm out of ammo. I'm about to die. Oh wow! Look how much damage I did. <laughs> six, six, six. Okay, that's not. Whatever. Uh, three kills. So yeah, it's been it's been like this in this pack. Um, I put this build together earlier today, and uh, it's been really good. It works well because the Evan Jaguar has good hard points, high hard points. Other than the ballistics and the arms, they do hang kind of low, but it does have some high missile hard points. Um, No, I mean, I could downgrade one, one of my SRMs and get an extra ton of ammo that way, but I like having four sets of SRM6. But in the long run, 
it might be better for me to downgrade one of those SRM6s just to gain an extra ton and a, or a ton and a half or an extra ton whatever it is it would help a lot but yeah my uh, my live my die to live ratio is more on the die side but I do um, take out quite a few mechs before I go down which I do like about this mech and I do survive in some matches but usually those matches that I do survive in are um, well you'll see we'll play we'll play two matches after I talk about this mech here well, you know opening match here is awesome we got three kills went in three kills five assists two solos two KMDDs, six 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 666 damage um, really good there for hell my first match after work um, it's a really good build it's a really good mech Ebon Jags can really put out and it's a reason it's my favorite heavy mech which I will talk about too here in a few a few seconds actually we did very well a lot of fun so let's go ahead and get this video started. See you guys in the Mech Lab. Welcome to Mech Warrior Online. This is Fuzzy Nova, and today we have the Ebon Jaguar, also known as the Cauldron Born. Uh, if you don't know, this is my favorite heavy uh, clan heavy mech. And I have a lot of favorite mechs, but this mech, the Ebon Jaguar, has been my favorite mech, my favorite heavy mech since the first week I played this game. Um, it's a mech that has brought me so much joy and it's so much fun to play and everyone has one of these mechs um, if you don't yet you will find it everyone has one of their favorite mechs that they get in and they just feel comfortable they do well in it it's a lot of fun and it just feels right and the Ebon Jaguar is that mech for me and it's probably a lot for a lo it's probably that way for a lot of other pilots too um, but yeah um, so I'm going to be redoing a lot of mechs that I've already done just because I have a new setup and I want you know to make better quality videos so we're redoing certain mechs um, so we're gonna start it off with the Ebon Jaguar C variant um, now the C variant the reason I chose this was because I was running around in the Orion 2C Charlie or champion variant it's actually a trial mech right now. So the Orion 2C Champion variant is an intense brawler. It's a it's a, an amazing brawling mech. And the Orion 2C itself is amazing. But the Champion Orion 2C comes with an LBX-20 and four SRM-6 with Artemis. It's an amazing brawl build. So I wanted to find another heavy mech, clan or inner sphere, it didn't matter to me, that... Um, could do the same that wasn't an Orion or Orion to see so I wanted to find something else that that had similar hard points and that I could uh, run a similar build on and that's when I came across the Ebon Jaguar C variant very similar hard points ballistics and missiles that's it so I got it and about the Ebon Jaguar itself it does have a unique design a very odd design there was no other mech that looks like this and you know there's humanoid style mechs there's insects and animal style mechs there's alien uh, uh, type style mechs but the Ebon Jaguar doesn't fit into any of those categories um, this mech doesn't fit into anything like that so it does have a unique design but the design does have flaws especially in battle um, there are certain sweet spots on the Ebon Jag that can be taken off rather easily um, the arms are targeted a lot, the torsos, um, especially the torso, because that's basically what half, half of your mech is, is a giant torso. Other than that, I love the design, I always have. If you haven't tried this mech, save up for it, honestly. There's going to be a variant for you, Whatever, whether it's the A, B, C, D, or the hero mech, you're going to you're gonna love one of them. Anyways, yeah, it's such a good looking mech. This is my favorite clan heavy mech of all time. All time. It just feels right. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I got. So of course I am basing this off of a brawl build from the Orion 2C, but we're doing it on a totally different mech. The Ebon Jaguar is a 65 ton clan heavy. An amazing, amazing mech. It's an Omni mech, of course, so it does have Omni pods. And uh, if you're not feeling... That's, it's basically, if you just buy one Ebon Jaguar, doesn't matter what variant it is, you can make it into anything you want. So, the Ebon Jaguar C variant comes with two ballistic, 
zero energy, four missiles. So ballistic and missiles, that's it. And that's fine. That's all I really wanted. This is very similar to the champion build with some minor differences. So, of course, I couldn't fit LBX-20s on here. It just wouldn't allow it. Not with uh, what's going on here. With the engine, everything else. I'm sure you could if you could take the engine off. Anyways. So, I'm going to go with two LBX-10s instead of... Uh, LBX 20 it's the same thing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pair them together um, on one weapon group and there I go I have an LBX 20 for our four missile hard points we've got one in each torso and one in each arm I'm going with four sets of SRM 6 uh, boom so two LBX 10s for SRM 6 now the problem that I'm having right now is the ammo um, consumption the uh, the lack of ammo because right now all I have is two tons of LBX 10 ammo which is fine and then two tons of SRM ammo which I'm running out of normally I can get through a match with this ammo if I'm if I'm very conservative with my shots and I take my shots well but if I'm you know in the heat of battle missing shots I'm really wasting ammo now the biggest thing you can do is definitely go to your skills and go under the firepower tab and they have uh, skills under magazine capacity that give you more ammo per ton but there's only so many honestly right now I'm only seeing two um, so that gives me that really only gives me uh, plus four shots per ton so I'm really only getting eight extra shots with those uh, LBX 10s uh, another thing is is the missile rack missile rack will give you more uh, Ammo per ton on your missile weapons, which I need as well So I basically clicked all the missile racks all the missile spreads all the high explosives. I uh, clicked all the LBX spreads magazine capacities and uh, Quite a bit of range cooldowns and heat gens. So this is what mine looks like. This is really all I focused on I have no energy weapons. So missiles ballistic um, Heat gen, cooldown, and velocity. I wanted velocity as well for my LBX 10s. That's really it. I have a couple more skills um, just for my uh, auxiliary tab, but the main ones you want to focus on are these ones your firepower tab. Um, now, I could drop one of these SRM 6s down to maybe a 2 or a 4, and that would give me a, maybe an extra ton. But other than that, uh, it's just one of those builds that is very conservative with your shots and the heat management I have three internal double heat sinks 1.57 out of 2 You're not going to overheat in this thing unless you're going too crazy now the SRMs will spike it up But I, I haven't overheated yet um, So it's 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 pretty good We do have an XL 325 81 kph. I have a lot of enhancements a crap ton of them um it's just a really good mech, and this build is really awesome. Armor points, 78 CT, 54 torsos, 34 arms, 38 legs. It's all maxed out except for some of my arms and some of my legs. I really don't get leg too much, but my arms do get blown off, which does suck. So what we're going to do here is this might not be a good idea, but we're going to just add some extra points in to our arm. And that's it. So it's definitely a brawl build. Um, the range is not bad. LBX 10s have a great range, so I do have that range there if I need it. And then when I get up close, about 300 meters is my optimal range and max range for these SRMs. So uh, 300 meter range is where I really want to be. So a lot of the times you're going to be going in and brawling and hoping to come out alive. Um, it's been happening a lot. Me, I mean, I'm just charging in, blasting, blasting mechs and trying to get out with, uh, with my life there. But other than that, other than the ammo, um, the lack of ammo, that's really the only problem I'm having right now. And as I said, you could downgrade some of your SRMs, but I do want to keep my SRM6s because it's just so badass. So, we will have to be ammo conservative, and we'll go ahead and get into a match. I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Hello, Mech Warriors. It's good to see all of you again. Today we have the Ebon Jaguar, or by what some call it, Cauldron Born. This will be short and sweet. Let's begin. 
introduced in 3049 to address flaws in the venerable Hellbringer. By Operation Revival the Ebon Jaguar had only just started to spread through the Jaguar's domain with the Inner Sphere first encountering the design during the Battle of Luthien. Facing it for the first time when engaging the first Jaguar Guards cluster in the Kadoguchi Valley, the Meg's ability to take damage and remain operational led the Inner Sphere warriors who fought it to call it the Cauldron born after the unstoppable zombies of Irish myth. Paradoxically many of the other clans also used the Inner Sphere Cauldron born reporting name. Having first learned detailed information of the design from Inner Sphere sources, by Operation Bulldog the Cauldron Born made up a large proportion of the heavy mechs of the rebuilding smoke jaguars, and following their annihilation the design proliferated the remaining clans, save the Jade Falcons, Wolves and Coyotes who continued to favor the Hellbringer. Following the wars of Reving the Ebon Jaguar had finally supplanted the Hellbringer in most home world clans, save the Coyotes who remained loyal to redeeming the honor of their design. This is Fuzzy's favorite mesh. Although I don't know why. There are plenty of more effective, stronger and better mechs. And the Ebon Jag looks like ridiculous. But hey that's my opinion and I'll let Fuzzy have it. Anyways. This concludes today's lesson. Bitching Betty singing off. Goodbye. All right, we are dropping into Grim Plexus. Our uh, second match here. I have two LB10s and four SRM6. So we had a minute to talk about this mech and the build I have here. So, um, really, if you have not tried out one of these mechs, just give it a shot. Normally, they always have one that for. Um, trial mech but now you can actually test out any mech you want from the uh, store page act like you're gonna go buy a mech from the store page the drop down menu where all the mechs are at and uh, it'll let you test any of them out any one get a feel for it but yeah um, this is like a uh, awesome go-to build for this Normally, you would see lasers on Ebon Jaguars, energy weapons, and normally I would do that. But I realized that um, LBX auto cannons and SRMs work very well for brawling. I, I mean, I've kind of always known that, but I always figured I needed energy weapons with it, you know? But you really don't. They, they help, but they will hurt your heat management. Heat management with this is great. I don't think I've overheated in this thing once, and I overheat all the time, as if you guys haven't noticed. Um, but I have been dying a lot in this mech, but I've been doing well before I go out, um, which is really all I care about, how I perform, how the team does. Yeah, we're gonna head this way because they are very heavy on that F8, uh, F7 corner there. Very heavy, and, uh, actually this is not a very good position either. I need to reposition myself here and get into a good range, but I also need to be able to, um, hit the enemy without being seen by many. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna go in. I'm charging in right after. Going in. I have three assaults looking right at me. We're gonna go after uh, this uh, mad cat here. And I can actually take cover behind this hill here. My right leg is hurt, but my CT is okay, which is good. So my right side is kinda... This mad cat looks like he's about to... Uh... Oh! Let's get him. Come on, give me one more shot at him. Shit! Oh yeah, we took the Mad Cat down. Uh, so yeah, I'm see, I'm very glad I pushed there. Uh, <laughs> I pushed right into three assaults, and the team followed. So, uh, really, really awesome. Really, really cool. All right, what do we got? Oh, Mad 
dog. Okay. Ow. Ow. Ooh. Uh, cicada. Damn it. Where's that cicada at? There he is. Sorry, dude. I got shot someone in the leg. Alright. Watch, watch, watch it, watch it, watch it. Watch it. Uh, is that a bushwhacker? Oh, Nova Cat. Watch out for Nova Cats, man. No joke. They're actually kind of scary. Not by the looks, but what they can do. Uh, Raven. It's not a good range for me. Got this night gear. I'm actually gonna go after this night gear. I know the bushwhacker probably sees me, but I'm gonna try to get this night gear. There we go, got him. Oh, bushwhacker, you son of a bitch. All right, come on. Sick. Take, take the bushwhacker out. Come on. Come on. Bushwhacker, let's go. Got him. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, man. I did it again. I go in hard, I get three kills, and then I'm down. It keeps happening. Wishmaster, you are on a roll too, buddy. You are on a roll too. Wow. Nice victory. Nice victory. So again, we go in hard. Get some kills. Really brawl it out. And uh, three kills, eight assists, two solos, two KMDDs, 448. It was almost the same as the last match, except I did a little bit less damage. Um, just because there were some range issues with that. Um, but, uh, I mean, it really performs very well. And the build works. And uh, I'm just going to keep adding skills to it here and there. You might see some skill increases. But uh, let's play another match. Okay, we are uh, on Kenya Network in the Ebon Jaguar C variant. This is like, uh, I think this will be my last match. We've had a, a pretty good run today in this thing. Um, I'm going to master this mech out, and uh, I'm going to keep adding skills to it. We have two LBX-10s and uh, four SRM-6. So, uh, quite a few skills I don't think I mentioned were uh, the L LBX spread is definitely a good one. Of course, I have the ammo capacity because I need more. Um, we have missile rack. We also have a uh, better chance of critical hits with my SRMs. You know. Uh, and another big reason I did this was because the Orion 2C is one of the best clan heavy brawlers that there is. Um, it's, it's famous for being that. It's uh, a very, very good mech, and everyone knows it. And I wanted to do a different mech and just show that it's just, I mean, it can do just as good. Um, even though I'm just kind of going off the matches that I'm playing. We've got a King Crab, which actually I'm doing the King Crab next. It is in the next video. I actually bought it. So the King Crab is next. Um, Satan's Pooper, one of my viewers, um, wanted to see a King Crab. And I have not done a video on a King Crab yet. I think I'm kind of straying away from it, or I just strayed away from it, so... But it's time to finally do it. We're going to go after this dire wolf. Um, look, the dire wolf is not facing me. Got him. All right. Look, King Crab does not even know I'm here. Oh, we're going to get him too. We're going to take out two assault. Oh, we got the King Crab too. All right. We need to get to cover because we are, we are seen. And they know. Yeah. So we just took out two giant assault mechs. Dire wolf and a King Crab within seconds. Jaeger mech right there on that e that edge. He's got uh, probably dual goss. Looks like we don't we don't need him looking at us. It looks like he's being engaged. 
our team is kind of spread. They're still out there in C5, D5. I don't know why. Um, I did take care of those assaults, so they shouldn't. They should be closer now. Uh, the enemy is moving in on my position here. Ah. Oh. Oh, Bushwalker with rotary AC5s. How original. I'm just kidding. That's probably a good build. But this one's better. Warhammer. Hmm. Gotta watch out for those Warhammers. Those, <laughs> those, uh... Warhammers can brawl just as well as any mech. Maybe even better. Oh, no. An Orion... Another great brawler. And that isn't... Dude, that Orion has the same build I have. That Orion has LBX-20 for SRM-6. He's got the same idea I do. Except I have two LB-10s. Uh, Arctic Wolf. Streak 2 Arctic Wolf. Not something I want to run into. We're going to go after this Orion because he's trying to run my build there. And he's not in range. If he sees me, he's going to attack me, of course. But I'm the only thing in, in his range. We're going to kill this Orion because he's an asshole. Ugh. Got him. All right, I think it's just me and this light. I think we're the only ones left. Um, so I uh, am not going to survive this. I'm low on ammo. I can try to take this Warhammer out, but they're all going to gang up probably getting up on me. Here that comes the Bushwhacker. I've got two shots left. Oh, yeah, we're going down. This is not good. Oh, that's it for me. What a good run, though. We, I mean, we took out those giant assaults at the beginning. We took out a Dire Wolf and a King Crab. And, uh, Ended up taking out an Orion as well. So. Yeah, if you got an Evan Jag uh, C variant or any variant and you want to try this out, definitely do it. If you're looking for a new bra build, uh, the Evan Jag is actually surprisingly a, a, a very good uh, brawl type mech if you handle it right. And uh, I'm not the. I'm not a pro, but. I really love the Cauldron Born. I love the Evan Jaguar more than maybe more than any mech. Um, it's always been a thing, you know. And I'm redoing my old videos. I'm redoing mechs that I've already done uh, because I, you know, I have a better uh, setup now. I have an, a better computer now to do it, and. Uh, you know something I was watching my the videos that I was doing before I got my desktop and I've only had this for like maybe a month now so basically all my videos except for the past like maybe 15 10 or 15 that I've done on this desktop were on my old laptop and I I almost cringed watching it I, I didn't realize I mean I knew my frame rate was bad but I didn't realize how bad like it was so so low and I'm like how did I play like that how did how did you guys watch that and like give me a thumbs up I don't know a good gameplay, but horrible, horrible frame rate. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Um, buy an Evan Jag. You won't regret it. All right, we'll see you for the King Crab in the next video. Fuzzy Nova, out.